Clinton was in a complete shambles. In the early 60s, Vietnam was, was, was at a high point. The racial riots, and from Mattapan to Cotton Square, there were riots. We were, the TPF was marching up and down the streets of Roxbury, quelling riots who were being shot at. And it was just, the TPF never stopped. The Tactical Patrol Force, when I was stationed in Division 13 out of the Academy, Commissioner McNamara knew what was going on within the city. He said, we need more help. We have to have some trained, well-trained officers to see what's going on here, to quell what's going on without disturbing the maximum manning of every division. So what do we do, he said. So with the advice of other people, I would imagine, but he was the author of, uh, he was responsible for creating this TPF, Tactical Patrol Force. And it was mainly all volunteers, a lot of ex-servicemen. We had ex-marines, ex-soldiers, sailors. And for the most part, they were all over six feet tall. Not all of them, but they were tough son of a guns. And they put us together and uh, we started doing, we trained once a week at a National Guard Armory. We'd do close quarter drill. And we were pretty good at riot control. So we sat back and we waited. And sure enough, things started happening with the riots in Cambridge. The Harvard University, the students went completely wild and... Uh, I remember I was walking the beat on the TPF and a bus picked us up, well, not only me, but picked up all of the TPF guys and we went to Harvard, Harvard Square. Lieutenant McDonald was on the bus with us, it was a Catholic priest by the lane, God love him. And we kept saying, where are we going? What's going on here? And we were, Jesus, I don't know, they think there's a riot. Somebody said there's a riot. Well, anyway, we got to Harvard Square. The bus stopped, opened up the door, the lieutenant said, fall in, real military, fall in, two ranks, left, right, dress. And the bricks started coming and the rocks started coming and there were shots being fired. Lieutenant Bill McDonald said, I get goosebumps when I think about it. TPF, move them out. Fires on every corner, the bank on the corner that was on fire. Across the street, the MDC police stood there, they didn't know what to do. So McDonald said, move them out. With that, the GPF let loose. And that's how they became pretty well known. We, we quelled that riot in no time at all. And uh, we sat back on the bus. Father Lane was there. He got hit with a brick. He come by. And I remember a few hours later after it was over, I was sitting on the bus. The town manager's name, I'm thinking back now, that's a long time ago. The town manager was a guy named Sullivan, Sullivan. And I remember him getting on the bus, walking up the aisle and down the aisle, and he was scratching his head. He says, I have never seen anything like that. You guys, God bless you, and thank you for saving Cambridge. And we all felt good about it, and that was the beginning of the TPF. I was in the TPF office one day, and my lieutenant came up and said, Frankie, you've been selected to go to the district attorney's office homicide. I said, whoa. I said, who, who, who recommended that? He said, Lieutenant Engineer. I said, oh, I know him. I knew him from when I was a kid in Fields Corner. He was a patrolman. I was a wise guy in the corner. He gave me quite a few boots in the ass. But I straightened out, and uh, I was afraid of him, and I uh, respected him. <laughs>